All right, we're back here. Big old lance knight or spear knight, whatever. Ow! He's being a real dill weed. <laughs> reach that halo game drop something ah oh, his shield he dropped his shield I'm probably not strong enough to wield that 36 strength uh what's nice that look at this though I can hold it with two hands and do a big swing with it and then shoot I'm gone and do a big charge with it dumb I mean cool but dumb but cool I'm just gonna stick with two hand in this thing I like using two hands guy real quick. Bye. That was cool. Cat, are you still behind the TV there? One of my cats is behind the TV, which is why I said that. <laughs> no more fire. Cool. Hey, dog. trade <laughs> you come here oh no <clears throat> oh boy uh, I'm already almost out of flasks again what was the whole point of this Cool string. Oof. Yeah, I like I like doing my cool little short arm attacks with this thing. Hey. Oh, missed. Range is a problem though. <laughs> Alright. So here we are, we're gonna drop down here, uh, down here is a rapier or a stock, it's this guy, <laughs> rapier, does good for the pokes, here's a big fat angel man, I can say that I'm a big fat guy, Oof. you can poke him in the butt though. They don't like it. Oh man. No, no, no. Uh, getting away from them is tough. <laughs> if you get yourself trapped down there. But then it's also funny because they get trapped down there easily too. Yeah. Now I have nothing extra. Oh, you dropped nothing. Useless. Get a lot of embers from this area, and by a lot I mean two? Two. Which is actually kind of a lot, considering, so we'll take it. Uh, look at all these empty shells. They're not people in here. They're just empty armor. <laughs> in the shape of people, because all the people got burnt out or turned to dust or something. They got Thanos snapped. Don't don't step in the fire. Alright, so to the left is some more knights, but to the right is an archer 
and this guy, and you're gonna want to go this way because there's a shortcut over here if you can survive. Also, some extra stuff. Uh, large soul and a ring, yeah. Ring of sacrifice for if you feel like dying. And, and not losing your souls, you know. Uh, there's a dude over there. There's Blossom over here. Uh, he's got friends over here, so let's just uh, start attacking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dangerous, the most dangerous move. That, uh, that big heavy swipe can, is good for the crowd control, like you saw. Took out two of them in one swing, which is pretty cool. I like to do that. I like doing that. Here we go, elevator ride. This is taking us somewhere we've already been, actually. But we couldn't open the door over here, remember? So now we've got this shortcut. We could run real fast. And just and just keep running. There's a dog. Run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> and there's a bonfire here. Sit at it. Reset everything. I did it. Now I can go back. And we can just use a shortcut to get there. Here we go. Shortcut. Ow. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Bye. Hopefully he didn't follow. He didn't follow. Okay. Now we just ignore that guy. The, <laughs> the guy and his friends over here. Uh, we get our stamina back so we can attack this guy and then go get his friend over here oh oh this guy followed cool uh, pause for sneeze gross anyway um, yeah so night's over here Soul of a corpse. There's some big knights. Uh, I like to drop down over here. So this lets me take care of some enemies here first. That guy and this guy. Give him a little kick. And this guy here. Give him the old jump attack. Now we can take on these knights. Oh, never mind. Oh, he rushed me. Don't rush me. Don't guard with no shield up. Dummy. And there we go. Cool trick. Finish him. Just a shard, fine, whatever. Quick, quick, get him. Ow. Left yourself open. Genius. Oh, ow. Left myself open. Genius. Got him again. Works every time. He didn't even drop anything. Rude guy. Hey, I got an Estus flask from him though. That was cool that you tried that. Ooh, that was clean. You didn't drop anything either. A lucerne. This is a big hammery thingy and I am not 
not dexterous enough for it. Dexterity is very important in this game if you can't tell. Uh, also, this guy has red eyes and a different color cape, so you know he's trouble. So let's, uh, let's drink up a little bit. See if we can't get a little sneak attack on him. It's hard to, but got it. You can see he's got a lot of health. Oh, and he blocked that. Don't even talk to me. Ow. Jeez. Um. Wow. He's a lot quicker. He's a lot more persistent in everything that he's doing. If you can't tell... I just did a uh, weapon art attack. Yes, and finished him. Or didn't finish him. That'll finish him. Whew. And he got a refined gem out of it. Wow. Okay. I gotta run back. But here we go. It's this weird old lady. I am Emma, High Emma. of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the members of Cinder here. I will they not. Yep, they left. So the boss is here left. Okay, but if I use this, I can find them. Uh, something that's interesting is that this area becomes a boss fight later. Um... And you have to do it, in order to activate it, you have to have a bowl, and you put the bowl here, and then it makes the statue bleed, and it's really cool. And you can do that by killing her now, and you can do that boss battle. <laughs> but that's like, normally it's further in the game, and I am not prepared for it. But it's just something you can do if you're feeling strong. I'm not feeling strong. So here we go. We're gonna go back. We're gonna heal up. Goodbye, everybody. Fall down the hole. Free souls. Oh, you're still here though. Okay. That's not cool, my guy. I took care of that at least. That guy's still sitting, thankfully. Dog is still dog. Two dog. There's two dog in it. Run away before the big dude shows up over there. Rest up. Uh, might as well go back to Firelink and use these souls while we got them. Oh, I can get one more. Uh, well, let's put in Endurance. So now, Claymore. And I'll actually take the shield off. And I'll just run around with this with two hands. So you can see big vertical, big vertical, and then stab. Um, which is different from Dark Souls 1. That, uh, that broadsword was the same moveset, and then here it's different. Uh, but it's cool to have this big stab with the big sword, big pokey stab, and then the uh, weapon art. Uh, you can do a big swoopy thing like that, or a big vertical pokey thingy like that. 
Interesting. Uh, I can go sell some stuff to lady here. So, let's just sell these instead of using them. You get the same from that. Uh, I don't ever actually use this stuff, so we'll get rid of that. Um, get rid of this. I'm not going to use this, so I can get rid of that. Uh, it's probably going to hurt a lot of people's feelings, me just selling things, but, you know, whatever. Uh, cool. So, Grey Rat shows up over here. Hello. And he's a merchant. So he sells different weapons. He's got a long sword here. He's got the bandit's knife, the best weapon in the game. He's got the bastard sword, which is another uh, slow, sluggish, high damage sword that I like. Um, maybe I'll save up and pick that up too and I can show you the comparisons. I think the bastard sword has the claymore set, uh, move set. Uh, the Dark Souls 1 Claymore, not this one that I'd have now. Uh, a mace for all you clerics, and a spear like that knight has, and then the crossbow. In case I want crossbows, and then you can get some thief gear, and standard gear. Fire arrows, which are cool. And uh, these rope fire bombs that you throw behind you, I never really used them, but I know a lot of people that use them in PvP. Pretty cool. The red moss stops the bleeding, like in Goodbye. the first one. But uh, I'm gonna put. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade this. So now I got the Claymore plus one. It's pretty good. Uh, the cost to infuse it is very high. Oh, now it's showing just the, the raw damage. Okay. That was weird that earlier time. Um, yeah, let's go. We got, we got stuff to do. Uh, so we're going, going back, back, and we're gonna... Fight a boss. We're gonna fight a boss. Let's do that. We haven't fought a boss in a minute, so let's make it happen, Captain. See if I can do it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> this game's got a lot to think about. Dog, no. Oh, that range though. Oh, oh boy. Swing. Oh, not you too. Wow. Okay. This is not good already, but let's go. Let's see if I can do this with... Well, let's look forward. And we'll do this with minimal flask usage. I love the running spin attack. That's a... That's a move that Link should have in Zelda. Not, not Link from, like, Rhett and Link, you know. Link from Zelda. Dang. Look at that poke, though. Poke, ooh. He ha I have the high ground, and it's not good. He yeah. Poke battle. Ooh. You got lucky, my dude. 
Wow. That was cool. Okay, I did it. I'm just gonna go in like the actually I can use an ember and that will give me more health and will heal me. I did it. <gasps> also I can summon who can I summon? The master. Remember him with the katana? I beat him up and took his clothes and his sword. Ta -da! Hello. Let's go. We gotta open this door so we can fight the boss behind it. Touch it. Open it. Just kidding, the boss is behind you. Here he is, he comes out of the portal. It said, I will give you cake. Oh, not that kind of portal, okay. Look at this beast night, man. Scree, he says. Vort of the Boreal Valley. Get him a sword, Master. You're behind him. Give him an attack. You're not doing it. There you go. Distract him for me. Sword Master's already almost dead. I like to get all up in on this guy. Because he doesn't like it when I do it. Ow. Uh, so that's a frost buildup meter. Frost will do big damage when it procs, and then also slow you down and slow down your, uh, and your stamina recovery. Okay, now he's doing the big rush attacks. Those are dangerous and hurt. Oh, he missed. Now he's going to do Frost Breath, which is good because you can get behind him and just do this a couple times. Again, he doesn't like it when you get all up in there. And the Swordmaster's proving to be effective for distracting him. When he does these rushes at you, you can roll forward through him. But there we go, we got him. Thank you, Swordmaster. You've proven to be a great ally. And we got his soul. So long, friend. Goodbye. Mmm. Good souls, too. And there the door opens for us. We didn't even have to touch it at all. And now, you see this? Ooh, the camera does a cool trick, so it looks like all. Uh, um, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna raise this banner, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go over there, that way. So. Raise. You raise me up so I can. Oh, bump things with my knee apparently. Raise it. Look at my tiny flag. Oh, what is it? Good creepy hand. What have you been getting into, sir? Are you here to take me to Ann Orlando? Remember in Dark Souls 1 when they did that? They took you to Ann Orlando? They took you to the prettiest place in the game. And now they take you to one of the scuzziest places in this game. Mmm. Look at all those crows. The Undead Settlement. Remember what we have to do here? We have to fight. 
da no items up here, right? Right here. Item. Cool. Uh, let's go put another point in Endurance and then we'll pick this up next week. Well, where we will start exploring the Undead Settlement. Okay, bye. Bro, bro, fight the power.